Hey guys, I hope you guys are doing well today. I wanted to do a hair mask for you, but I wanted to go back to the basics, and I wanted to do the Kristen hair mask just by itself. You can apply it with me if you'd like, and we can get through this together. The Kristen oil is very special, and that is because it has 55 incredible oils in. Many of these oils are made in my husband's factory. All of the oils work together and have a synergistic effect in the way that they promote healthy scalp and hair growth. So um, the way that I apply the Kristen oil is I pour a little bit into a bowl and I take a foundation brush and apply it section by section throughout my whole hair. And we're gonna do that together right now. Now before I apply my hair mask, I always want to brush my hair first. About to leave, already packing, come with me. I'm taking all the tangles out because I don't want any knots in the way. When I put the oil on my hair, it should be able to penetrate throughout every single strand. I'm also applying it to hair that hasn't been washed for four days. So I apply Kristen twice a week right before I'm ready to wash my hair. As soon as I apply it, I leave it on overnight and wash it out the next morning. Many of the Kristen users have different ways that they choose to use Kristen. Some use it as a leave-in. Some leave it in for only 15 minutes and then wash it out right away. I choose to leave it overnight because I feel that's best for my hair type. So I'm gonna part my hair into sections. I'm gonna split it down in half and then I'll do layer by layer. I'm not really asking, we'll get away to a place where we don't know. Now, in the cold winter months, sometimes your oil might be solid. That's because there's a lot of raw, extra virgin organic coconut oil inside. And you can just liquefy it by putting it in temperatures over 76 degrees Fahrenheit. So if you just kind of keep it in a warm bath for a little bit, it'll completely liquefy and it's safe to use. Um, there's nothing wrong with it. If you want to prolong the shelf life also, you can keep it in your refrigerator and just liquefy it every time you want to use it. Kristen oil, I want to get it on my scalp, so sometimes I'll just take a little extra time to make sure it's very saturated on my scalp because the essential oils, they're terpene oils, and so the properties of these oils can actually penetrate deep into the hair shaft down to where the follicle is, and by doing that it stimulates blood flow to that follicle and encourages healthy new growth. So while many users choose to use Kristen as a simple leave-in on their ends, um, there's a lot of benefits for putting it on your scalp too. One thing you have to be careful with when you're putting oils on your scalp is you have to remember that your scalp loves to be clean. And so if you're applying oils to your scalp, you want to wash them out completely and properly in between uses. That way your scalp can breathe and your scalp feels clean and refreshed. A lot of times if you have a shampoo that is completely sulfate free, um, you'll have issues with oil residue being left behind on your scalp and that can cause irritation. So it's just one thing to keep in mind. When you're applying oil on your scalp, you can leave it for long periods of time. Like I said, I'm leaving this overnight, but you want to also make sure that in between uses, it's completely washed out um, unless it's just on your ends. Oh. If you'd like, you can also give your scalp a nice head massage while you're putting oil. It's a great way to stimulate blood flow as well. You've probably heard that before. Um, something that I like to do. I'm in my happy place right now. <laughs> something so soothing about self-care. If you're going to give your scalp a massage, you just want to be very careful. Use gentle pressure. A lot of us uh, will use very hard hands and that can cause your hair to exit the resting phase a little bit prematurely. So 
Just be easy on your scalp and on your hair. Give firm, gentle massage. It's very good for your circulation. Okay, so I'm just gonna wrap my hair up in a bun on the top of my head. So I just like to give myself a little bit of slack so that my hairline doesn't get pulled. So I like to release the tension a little and twist it down and just wrap it around the top like a big bun. My hair is pretty good about staying. It's heavy enough that I don't really need to put any hair ties in it. Um, if you're going to use a hair tie, just try to be careful when you're twisting it so that you don't break off the strands of hair. Or you can use a nice thick scrunchie over the top. That would help too. I'm not going to use any hair ties. What I'll do is I just go and wrap it with a nice thin towel and leave it on the top of my head overnight and I'll wash it out in the morning with my regular shampoo and conditioner. The thing that I love most about using Kristen in my hair care routine is the fact that it's completely natural. From the time we're small and throughout our lives we're so used to putting toxic shampoos and hair products into our hair. Um, all these toxic chemicals are very bad for the condition of our hair externally. And sometimes the damage that we do to our hair cannot be remedied just by taking vitamins alone. Diet is extremely important. The vitamins you take are extremely important. And topical hair care is very important. It's something that I wouldn't live without, especially since I've seen how much it repairs my hair. And it's not just chemicals that are damaging your hair. It can be things like the air that we breathe, the pollution, the environmental pollution, even the type of water that you wash your hair with can really damage your hair. And the best thing about Kristen, it's not just to stimulate blood flow, it helps to remove and to repair your hair regardless of all those chemical toxins that have been put on top of it. So this is a very great product for you to use in your hair care routine. It really helps. I'm so glad I got to share with you how I apply the Kristen oil. Um, I'm going to be making so many more recipes on how to use Kristen in conjunction with other very powerful ingredients to give your hair such great nutrition. Um, let me know if you guys have any questions and I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you.